Jake's Tunnel here. Today we got something pretty cool to show you. And I know a lot of y'all have been seeing these clear globs washing up on the beach. And actually, they could be a whole number of things. But what we have washing up right now, they're all about this size. I love it. They can be three to five inches in size. I'm gonna put it in here. See if we can get it to move around some. But this is the comb jelly. And the comb jelly gets its name because it's got these rows of cilia that go from top to bottom of the animal where it can move around. And that's why, it, that, that's how it swims. It actually swims with its mouth open, which is unlike some other jellies. Um, other jellyfish, you know, they'll have a, a bell and then they swim this way and their mouth is at the bottom. Well, this is a, a not a true jelly, it's a tenophore, um, but it, it, it can go uh, with those cilia, it can actually go with its mouth forward. So it's eating its prey like plankton and eggs just uh, directly on. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool, I think. Um, there's actually around the world about 186 species here in the, the Gulf of Mexico especially along the Texas coast, uh, one of the most common species we find is called the sea walnut. And um, uh, that one, it, they, they can show up in massive amounts. And so you could, uh, like I was walking along the beach here within 100 feet, you know, I probably found four or five. Uh, and those are just the ones that washed up, uh, not the ones that, you know, are, actually, are in the water. Uh, they actually, so they get their name by the thousands of little hair-like cilia that they kind of move around. When they move around and you get the light just right, they bioluminesce and so they diffract light. And so they almost look like a rainbow along the, the cilia line. And so I'll get some close-up shots of that because uh, I want to make sure everybody's able to see that. Re really neat. These are considered hermaphrodites. So one individual will have both eggs and sperms. And uh, when they, they so they self fertilize and they can have up to 10,000 eggs produced. Now, uh, this one that I found was probably only like two, two and a half inches. But once they get larger, they can actually produce more. So, so the larger they are, the more eggs they produce. So one thing you, you might not know about, I'm pretty sure nobody knows about this, but they have a transient anus, which means it moves around. Every time it, it, their anus is in a different spot. So their gut balloons up and, and it, it pops out whatever they need to excrete. Then it closes up and then the next time it'll pop out at a different place, kind of like pores. And, um, it does this every hour. So that's uh, one of the amazing things. There's a lot of amazing things about this animal. Uh, another one is, is that it's comprised mainly of water. So not, about 95, 97% water, somewhere in there. So whenever they wash up, uh, they quickly start degrading. Um, they will uh, almost evaporate. And if, if that doesn't happen, the birds are trying to eat them. So uh, they've got a lot of things stacked against them once they get pushed up. So uh, they're actually supposed to be in the water, obviously. Um, they only live from one to three months. So that's why they have so many babies. They have a lot of babies uh, because they don't live very long. And, uh, you know, they, they're eaten by a lot of different organisms, uh, including sea nettle, uh, sea turtles, uh, birds, fish, and so, you know, whenever you have an animal that is short-lived, uh, they typically have a lot of offspring. The good news that I think everybody would be happy with is these do not sting. These are one of the jellies that you can feel free to pick it up, check it out, and you're not going to get stung. Okay, that's it for this episode of Beach Coming. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll talk to you on the next episode. Bye.